I just got the kids to sleep. Maybe they could just be lurking. Sometimes it's hard to tell. And I fed the cats. So, you know, everything's going well. Thought I'd read a couple more books. I'm really enjoying reading books. I mean, I always enjoy reading books, but it's also nice reading books when no one is asking you, you know, a million questions while you're doing it and you just want to get to the next page. This is another book from when I was little. Um, it's called Greetings from Sandy Beach and it's a Bob Graham one. Um, it's a bit of a fave. Yeah, so I'm going to read this. Greetings from Sandy Beach. There were plenty of tears at the start of our holiday. Dad cried about leaving our dog. Mum cried about leaving Grandma and Grandad. Gerald cried because he'd been awake all night, overexcited and couldn't sleep. I cried because everyone else was crying and we were only going away for two days. It was better when we got going. Dad dabbed his nose for a while with wet paper tissues. Mum started on the toffees before we even left our street. Gerald went straight to sleep with his mouth open, and I put my headphones on and listened to my tape to the best of the heartbeats. The trip took forever. Nothing much happened on the way, except a girl on a bus stuck her tongue out at me. Mum and Dad sang songs I didn't know, and Gerald threw up. At the campsite, things picked up. There were people on motorbikes. They were called the Disciples of Death. Dad didn't like the look of them. Don't go near them, said my dad. Stay away from them, Gerald, said my mum. They had a dog with goggles that rode up on the petrol tank. It was the best thing I ever saw in my life. Then the kids in the bus arrived. Must be some kind of school outing, my dad said. My mum was walking around with toffee papers stuck on her seat. Gerald sat in the sand playing with his plastic charging rhino. And that girl stuck her tongue out at me again. Then we put up the tent. At least we tried to put the tent up. Dad couldn't figure it out, although mum got her bit up. I looked after Gerald who kept wandering off. The disciples finally showed us how. Dad looked nervous and smiled at them a lot. We didn't go straight into the water. Dad wanted to enjoy the sun. We've got the beach to ourselves, he said. It's so peaceful here, my mum kept saying. Gerald was happy enough, just blobbing around in the sand. The girl from the bus fell right out of the sky onto Dad. He wasn't too pleased. You've got the whole beach, he said, and you land on me. So we shared the beach with the school kids. They played a cowboys getting shot game to see how far they could roll. I joined in. They got me. It was just like the cowboys in the films. High dives from the tops of buildings into the dusty street. I won. The girl with the tongue was quite impressed. So were the disciples of death. We shared the water with the school kids too. Dad washed off the sand, the sand that had fallen out of the sky and stuck, stuck to his sunburn oil. Mum played puddles with Gerald. I stood away from them a bit. I am embarrassed by my parents when other kids are around. I don't know why. The school kids went back for lunch with their teachers. Fancy seeing your teacher in just a pair of flowery shorts. Dad and I made a mermaid. Mum wrote Gerald's name in the sand, not with a stick, with Gerald. We camped that night in the tent. Dad cooked the dinner, camp stew, out of a tin. Mum and Dad played word games with little wooden squares. There was a lot of shrieking from the school camp. Gerald went straight to sleep very pink from the sun. So did I. 
Next day, we played boats in the rock pool with some ice cream sticks from the disciples. We buried Mum in the sand. Dad caught a rather small fish and Gerald ate something disgusting from his fishing basket. And we slept our second night in the tent. In the morning, we all packed up. The lady disciple bought us a raspberry icy pop each. The tongue girl gave me a souvenir shell with the name of the camping park on it. And the biggest bikey sat Gerald right up on the petrol tank. They all passed us on the way home. First the bus, then the disciples with their little white dog, his ears streaming in the wind. They were all right, really, said my dad. Once you got to know them, he added, a bit further down the road. There was still a slight smell of old fish about Gerald. Dad held him at arm's length. Let's get Gerald into the bath, my mum said. It was quite a while back now, but I've still got the icy pop sticks and the shell. Souvenirs, I guess. And that's the end. This book was written the year I was born and won the 1991 Children's Picture Book of the Year. And Aurora was not asleep after all. She was just tricking.